Kate Russell travelled to Moscow to meet one of the country's outsourcing pioneers. Founded in 1889, German company Drager Medical are at the forefront of the medical equipment supplies industry. Represented in 190 countries, their motto, technology for life. So we thought we'd take a look and see how Drager Medical are using groundbreaking technology to support their life-saving equipment. But first, I'm going to need these and these. Because it can get really cold in Russia. That's right, we're not in Germany anymore. We're not even going to Dragan Medical's offices. Riga is uh, <clears throat> the first company in Russia uh, that was founded um, for the purpose of what we call today IT offshore outsourcing. Uh, it was back in 1990, so we are going to be 15 years old this year. What Auriga does for Drager Medical is develop bespoke software solutions to run its vital health and safety equipment distributed in hospitals throughout the world. Of course, outsourcing is nothing new. It all started probably in the early 80s, in earnest, I mean, when manufacturing jobs uh, started to leave uh, Western countries for destinations like China or other um, countries in Asia. And uh, the world saw that it's, it's the efficient um, way to, you know, to do things. It's called globalization. But as history has revealed, it was the outsourcing of white-collar jobs to India that really put this concept on boardroom agendas. It's not a question of the different labor rates in India versus U.S. That's only a very, or Russia versus the U.S. That's only a small proportion of it. The thing is, the skills involved, the techniques involved, the processes involved. As a customer, you have to get good at using offshoring. The better you are at offshoring, the better you're going to, more successful you're going to be in your own marketplace and for your own shareholders. And when it comes to IT, Russia seems well qualified to be placed among the top few countries in its category. In fact, Russia, with its 150 million strong population, has the most R&D personnel per capita in the world. But leading the world in potential talent means nothing if you don't have a solid logistics strategy to help harness it. And still suffering the hangover of a switch from socialism to capitalism just 16 years ago, Russian businesses feel this more keenly than most. You have uh, to build a whole system of relationships between the provider and client. Uh, and there are pretty many people involved in the, in the process, including project managers, uh, analysts, uh, developers, quality assurance uh, personnel and so on. And in order to be efficient, uh, all the project team relationship system must be built in accordance with a certain rules. And you also have to be good in just normal business uh, areas such as uh, finance, HR, uh, non-delivery processes, um, corporate level strategic management has to be good. Their number one competitors, Indian IT offshoring specialists, will be a hard act to beat. Over the past 12 years, the top IT outsourcing companies in India have experienced cumulative and average growth rates year on year of between 50 to 80%. I mean, can you imagine growing your revenues 50% every year and your employees 50% every year for 12 years in a row and not collapsing? I don't think there's an American company that could do it. But these Indian companies, a half dozen of them have done that, a dozen of them, maybe 50 of them have done that. The Russian companies, ourselves included, are very good, equally good, sometimes better in the pure engineering aspect, but in terms of being a mature business and having skills in all these other necessary areas, uh, we're trying to catch up. And at this time, the slight inconvenience of collaborating across different locations is well compensated for in returns for providers. Your ROI starts, uh, you break even probably comes at the, I don't know, 12, 14 month point in your typical uh, relationship and uh, you know you, the, the ROI just starts to really pour in after 18, 20 months. By 2010, the IT sector in Russia is expected to grow in value from $7.5 billion to $40 billion. And IT outsourcing services could grow to be worth as much as $3 billion. Further evidence of Russia's intention to end its economic reliance on natural resources. Now the government is paying attention and President Putin uh, quite recently visited Novosibirsk, one of the Russian um, 
old science cities and uh, he announced some ambitious plans of bringing this, uh, I, this industry, IT industry, um, to, you know, to this new stage. Mm -hmm.